I do have something to talk to you about, Sona, and this is an actual concern of mine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I think our audience is aware that Sona is very pregnant now with twin boys. Yes. And you are going to be bringing them into the world uh, with any week now. Any week, any time, yeah. Um, and I'm going to be very honest about this. This is not a bit. This is actually something I felt a little bit. Uh, I am a middle child in a family of six. And uh, in my family, I could often feel a little bit lost in the shuffle, oh. which can happen. And now for 11 years, you've worked for me. 12. Mm-hmm. I said worked. So um, <laughs> no, you've been with me uh, for 12 years. Yes. I was your priority. You didn't always act like it. But oh, I was your boy. no, but I was your priority, and now yeah. that priority I think is going to shift you because think. I think it's going to shift when these twin boys show up. You think it's going to shift? I have <laughs> yes, I believe that that's a possibility. You think there's still a chance you are going to be my biggest priority in life? Yeah, your best case scenario is that there's one twin, then you, then another twin. <laughs> In priority order. I don't. And that's not going to happen. I just don't know. I I feel some of the same feelings that I felt back in you know the early seventies when uh, my youngest brother Justin was born. Uh, He was the sixth, and I remember feeling another one. I'm shoved more into obscurity, and of course, they made a big deal about Justin. And my father was like, "Oh, Justin's going to be the smart one, and Justin will be the good one." And uh, I remembered feeling <laughs> it was a tough time. Watergate was happening. Uh, the country was still recovering from uh, the Vietnam War. And then I, of course, uh, plunged more into obscurity with, with each additional child. Now huh. you're putting me through the same trauma by having twins. And I'm wondering how I'm going to figure into your life once the twins show up. Well, first of all, you're a man in your 50s now. Mm, late 40s, let's say. No, it's mm. definitely late not. <laughs> it's late 50s. I think mid 40s. Early okay. No. no it's I'm late. a man in my early 40s. The fact that you still have these feelings is uh, troubling. But also, you know, you're right. For a long time, I was single. I was having a good time. Like I could. Focus you were having on a you. really good time. Okay, relax. And then, and then Tack came in the picture. And I'm sorry, but. Tack, my husband, is also a bigger priority to me than is you are. Is he really? Yes. He's my spouse. He's my life partner. But I pay you. No, that's not how life works. It's like mm-hmm. Liza is a bigger priority to you, you know, and that's how family works. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm ex- Can you no tell idea. me what you think in, in terms of rank? priority like what's the priority list in my life what do you think it is show business first oh boy <laughs> oh boy i'm just telling you what my that's how i wake me up in the middle of the night and go there's been there's trouble and i'll say what the show podcast what's the problem okay that's what i do just wake me up in the middle of the night oh no something terrible happened what my career what <laughs> Then I'll start asking questions about children and wives and parents and stuff like that. What what do you think the list is in my life? Like, how do you think you rank? I understand having to have close to similar billing with TAC, but I would think the order should be me, TAC, very close second, podcast, children. Oh Oh, my God. So the way I see it now is it's Oki first. My dog. What? Yes. Then- oh my God, this is Wait, hilarious. So you're the- both crazy? <laughs> you know what I love? She's all about her dog. She carries her dog around. She's one of those people that's like, oh, Oki just had an idea. I could tell. Oh, did you hear what Oki did last night? What'd he do? He was thirsty, so I put out water and he drank it. He- so Isn't that cute. a good story? No. That's the, that's the kind of shit that this Sona's is always saying. And I keep telling her when these twins show up, you're going to forget your dog. You just are okay. because that's what happens. And you refuse to believe me. I think you guys are both too close to it. You're too in the thick of it. I think the natural priority order is your two twin sons. Yeah. Your husband, your dog, me, Cone. <laughs> so who's our guest today? I feel like it's 1973 all over again. Okay. <laughs> you were 10. Now you're in your late 50s. No, I was 10 then, but still somehow I'm only in my late 30s. <laughs> Listen, I'm working on my publicist on a new date of birth. We'll get to that very soon. 